What's going on guys, I'm Brian and today we are going to wrap up the how to build a gaming PC series by showing you guys how to install Windows 10 and its driver. And well, if you watched the part one of this video, then you might be expecting benchmarks as well. I'm going to skip those for now and put them into a later video. Um, for the, again, the, the Ryzen 1600 AF and the RX 570. And the reason why I'm going to do this is because I want to gather more data and I kind of just ran out of time when I was trying to gather the data. Now, before we actually get into the tutorial, if you need a, you know, kind of, if you want to link to like the previous video, part one of the video, or you want to link to any of the parts we talk about or we put into our actual system, check out the description box below. I'll have all that information down there. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. We do tech videos just like this every single week. And um, don't forget to like this video if you end up enjoying it. All right, so as I said before, this is part two of our how to build a gaming PC series. And for this part, you're gonna need your Windows um, installation media that you that you already um, had set up, or you may have already set up. If you didn't set this up, check out the video. I'll leave, up, leave it in the cards up here. It's like a four minute video, shows you how to actually set up a Windows 10 installation media. It's really quick and really easy. All you really need is an eight gig, um, drive as well as another computer that has the internet or that has access to the internet um, to do that. You're going to also obviously need your keyboard, your mouse, as well as your monitor. So go ahead and hook up your keyboard, mouse, and monitor to your um, to your new system. Make sure that when you're plugging your monitor in, you're plugging it into your graphics card and not directly on your you know your IO the back IO of your motherboard um, unless you have integrated graphics if you have a you know, system you're not going with this system but if you have a system that has integrated graphics then in that case you will need to plug it into your motherboard IO ports rather than a graphics card because you won't have a graphics card <laughs> All right, so after you have everything plugged in, go ahead and um, plug in your Windows 10 flash drive into your PC um, that you're gonna be installing Windows 10 on. Um, put that in there so it's good to go. And then what you wanna do is go ahead, turn your system on and start hitting the delete button. So we're gonna say here, hit the delete button for a few seconds while we wait for the system to boot up and the system will automatically boot right into your BIOS. So we'll wait for that to actually happen. You'll see on this screen right here, it'll pop up um, in BIOS. So a couple notes on here. It's green because I'm capturing it. It won't normally be green. It should be black, um, like a darker color. And um, when you get into the Windows installation part, it should be like purple, not, uh, again, not green. It's green because I have the capture, um, I have my I have capture card doing this. So um, there's two ways you can do this. You can, for the first way, you can go over to boot. You can change your boot priority right here. That's right here. You can go down to um, your USB key. You can just change this to number one. You hit enter and then restart your computer and it'll automatically boot to your SanDisk. Um, but then you'd have to come back after you have Windows 10 installed and you'd have to move, you, uh, you'd want to move it back down so it doesn't accidentally boot to it again if, or it boot to something else, a USB drive um, at a later date. Um, the better way and the way I like to do it, if your motherboard has the option, but is to go to your boot override section. That's right here. And then you just go down to your Windows 10 installation media and all you do is just hit enter. So that's actually the way we're going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And then you're gonna let it load and it's gonna bring it right into the Windows 10 installation media. You see a purple screen popped up. Um, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and English, English, US. If you need to change it in that, go ahead and do that. Hit next and then hit install now because we're doing a fresh install. We're not repairing it. We just wanna go right, right ahead and do a install now. All right, so now that this screen has popped up, you can, you can um, if you have a code, you can go ahead and plug it in. You can punch it in right now. If you don't hit, I don't have a product key, you can punch it in later. It's not gonna cause any issues when it goes to actually setting up your system. So hit, I don't have a product key. And then um, you're gonna wanna hit Windows 10 Pro. You can get a Windows 10 Pro key. I'll leave a link in the description box below, but you can get one for like 10 to 15 bucks. Um, so it's really cheap. And that's the one I would recommend. If you don't wanna use one, you just gonna have a watermark on your screen. And again, um, It'll just be a watermark. You'll have some features disabled too, but that's, you know, it's, not, it's really not that big a deal. Anyways, hit next. Gonna wait for a second. You're gonna hit, X, you're gonna read through the license that it has for you guys. Boom, 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 we're, we're scrolling through, but you're gonna hit, accept, I accept the license terms and you're gonna hit next as well. And what you're gonna wanna do here is you wanna hit custom. Don't hit upgrade, hit custom. And then right here is gonna be your actual drive that's unallocated. You can see drive zero, unallocated space, 465.8 gigabytes. 
all you're gonna do is hit next. Don't hit new, don't hit anything else. If you have stuff here, that means like, if there's like, uh, if you have multiple drives, they're gonna pop up here. Hit drive zero, hit unallocated space, hit next. Gonna hold on. And then now it's going to actually install Windows. And that's basically it. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna wait for 10, 15 minutes as it, as it gets your Windows ready up and running. And that's it. All right, so as you can see, it's gonna restart now. Uh, we, can just, we can let it go through, you can just hit restart now. So like once we actually get into Windows 10, like the first step into getting into Windows 10 is to literally wait. It's to go into Windows Update and let it to let your system do Windows Update. And then we can get into drivers, we can get into stuff like that. All right, so Windows has actually popped up now. Um, I'm gonna grab my second mouse since I have two here. Woo! Um, and I'm just gonna, you're just gonna go through like the standard stuff, hit yes. Just wait a moment, hit yes. Um, if you can, you can add the second keyboard if you want to, I'm not going to, I don't need a different layout. Um, I, we're just gonna put, I don't have an internet right now. We'll plug in the actual internet adapter in a minute and then, um, continue with limited setup and we're gonna name this one, uh, sec, or I don't know, PC, it doesn't matter. Name, name it, whatever you're going to name it. Um, I'm not gonna add a password for it, but you can add whatever password you want. I hit no there, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, and then I go through here and I click get, no, I turn these all off. I don't like them tracking all this crap. All right, and it's gonna go through and it's gonna li literally just, you know, load into Windows. All right, so. Um, now we're on Windows itself. So we're actually, let me pull this up quick so I can see this. Okay, so we're actually in Windows right now. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my Wi-Fi adapter. If you have if you have Ethernet, go ahead and plug that in right away. I'm gonna plug that in. So that's this is now plugged in. So I'm gonna put it right here for now. And then um, I'm also gonna unplug my USB my Windows 10 USB drive. So this is right here, it's, we're done. Once you actually start loading into Windows, you can basically pull it out once it resets your computer. That's all you need it for. I'll put it back into my drawer that I that I usually keep it in before, um, it, you know, be, whenever. So um, now that Windows has actually loaded up, you're just gonna go in here, you're gonna connect right to your, um, whatever your, your Wi-Fi connector is. And then you can, if, if it's a home network and stuff, you can just hit yes um, because you want it to be discovered by the rest of the devices in your in your system in your actual network. But I'm gonna hit no for this one. Um, I, you, you can always change it later. So now that I'm connected to Wi-Fi, I'm just type in. I'm gonna hit the um, Windows key. You can, or you can go down to here, right here, and then just type in update. And you're gonna look at it's. It should pop up check for updates. So you're gonna click on that and then hit check for updates. And this is gonna be another long period of time. You're just gonna sit here, it's gonna check for updates, to download updates, and then you're just gonna install everything you can, and then we can go ahead and move forward with getting um, the other drivers installed. Okay, so we've done some updates and stuff. It's been going through, I cut a bunch of it out. Um, this pops up basically saying that the hardware settings have changed, please review your computer. This, it's, you're gonna see this. So when, when you get something like this, go ahead and just hit Restart now. All right, so we just did finish that update. We restarted again, and again, you're gonna wanna go through, go down to the bottom left corner of your screen, go back into updates and check it again. And this is what we're gonna do until it stops saying that we need updates. We might be completed now. It might be done and over with. Hopefully that we're done, hopefully. We might be close. All right, so I like, so we got it clean. It said we're good to go. All right, so now that all the updates as you can saw are clean, we can go ahead and start getting some other things sorted out. The first thing I like to do whenever I have a new computer is to open up Windows or uh, Microsoft Edge, go to Google, download Google Chrome. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Um, and I'm just gonna type in Chrome. Go to the, maximize that so it's easier to see. Hit download Google Chrome. I like using Chrome, I like using Mozilla. I don't like using uh, Microsoft Edge. You can hit run or you can hit save. It's up to you, whatever you want. Um, when you do that, this is, thing's gonna pop up. It might not actually pop up. It might just be on the, your taskbar down here. Go ahead and click on that, hit yes. All right, so while that actually downloads, we're gonna come to the bottom um, of the tap, or down at the taskbar, you're gonna right click on this. And I like to go up to search, this search thing and hit hidden. So that'll get rid of like that whole entire search bar that was in the bottom left corner. I don't like it, I'm not a big fan of it. 
And then I also go and I un undo the um, Cortana. Uh, I don't like it. I don't use it. Um, I do use a task view occasionally, but you could also turn that one off too if you want. And then I also go in here and I unpin anything I don't use. So I'm going to unpin Microsoft Edge and I'm going to unpin um, the Microsoft Store. Just because you unpin it doesn't mean it's gone forever. You can just look in, you, know, you can go down here, type in Microsoft Store, or it's right here as well. But you can type in Microsoft Store and it'll pop back up. But again, I don't like having it down there. I just like having what I use consistently down there. So I'll do that. And then um, let's close out of this right here. Okay, so that's, that's gone. And then open up Google Chrome, hit set as default, um, or you can go to the default app settings, but I, it's easier just to do it that way. And hit Google Chrome, and then that's it. So now Google Chrome is your default web browser. All right, so once you get Google Chrome installed, I like to open up Google Chrome. I like to search my motherboard, which I already did on this computer in particular, but search MSI B450 Tomahawk. This is the Tomahawk, this is not the Mac. We're gonna hit enter, we're gonna go into this, go into there. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click support. And then if you wanna update your BIOS, this is where you're gonna get your BIOS um, update, like a new BIOS version. So you can go ahead and download that and you can install, you know, you can update your BIOS that way. But for this video, we're gonna go ahead and click on driver. You're gonna select your operating system, which we have Windows 10 64 bits, and you're gonna to go to system and chipset driver. So we're gonna hit download on this. Go ahead, let this download for a minute, and then we'll come back, uh, depending on how fast your speed is, you know, go get some coffee, go get something to eat, whatever you need to do. All right, so it's fully downloaded, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is, um, I like to right click here, hit show in folder. It's gonna open up your downloads folder, so anything else you've downloaded um, is gonna be put in here. But what you wanna do is you wanna click on it, click compressed folder tools, and then hit extract all. So hit extract, it's gonna, you can extract it to really wherever you want, but for ease of use and uh, ease, you know, easiness for the tutorial, I'm just gonna extract it into the downloads folder where we downloaded this at. It's gonna extract it, or it's gonna extract it from your, your zip file, and then we're gonna go through and we're gonna get all of the, um, get everything up to date and installed. All right, so once it's extracted, it's gonna pop up another window. You can go ahead and get rid of this one. You can even minimize that if you want. Go into this one right here and hit and double click setup. It's gonna give, ask you for permission, hit yes. And then in a few seconds, the actual driver, the chipset driver is gonna pop up. So this pops up right here. Um, I, I always hit accept and customize install so you can select exactly what you want. And if you um, install all your Windows updates, some of these drivers may already be up to date. Um, there's gonna be two different ones. So this one right here is gonna be the one that we actually want to click on. Just hit this first one and it's gonna pop up and just hit install. And if you highlight over here, you can see right here, it'll tell you like newer version of component already installed, installed AMD display driver, blah, 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 blah. So it's telling you that a newer version of this driver has already been installed. So you can go ahead and uncheck this. You don't have to worry about it. Um, but you can go on to this one right here and you can see current version not installed. So we know this driver is not installed. Go to the next one. It was a current version is not installed. So we know we need, these are the ones that we actually need. Go ahead and hit install. So it's gonna go forward. It's, it should only take a couple seconds to actually install it. And then it's gonna ask you, um, it's gonna say restart now or close. Just hit close um, and then re and you, know, you can just hit restart now if you want to, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and restart the computer and then once it reloads, we're gonna go back to the next part. All right, so once your computer is restarted, jump back into your Google Chrome, go ahead and type in um, AMD RX 570 drivers, go into here, go on AMD's website and you can see right here it says Radeon RX 570 drivers and support. Go down here, click this and then hit download we don't want we don't care about that um, and then wait, wait until this this fully downloads and then you're gonna go ahead and you're going to run the software download um, just follow the instructions it will download the graphics drivers and you'll be done with that now if you have an Nvidia graphics card you can get an RX one you're gonna do basically the same thing but type in you know Nvidia um, drivers in Google go to Nvidia's website um, as you should be able, be able to see right here, put, put in what you have. So GeForce, let's see, RTX 20 series. Let's say we have a 2080 Ti, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Windows 10, 64 bits. Go ahead and hit search. And then you're gonna download that driver as well. Um, well not as well, but 
instead of um, the AMD graphics driver. So once you once you get them both downloaded and again installed, um, you can then go ahead and start downloading you know your platforms that you want to play on, such as Steam, Epic Game Store. Um, those are like the only two really big ones. So go ahead, do that, start downloading games, and then you're good to go. You're ready to go. Um, now, before we, we wrap up this video, there are a few bonus tips I have for you guys. So the first bonus tip I have for you guys is make sure you go, go ahead and hit your Windows key or go into your search bar and type in mouse settings, right? And then you're going to want to go over to additional mouse options. And then you're going to want to hit um, pointer options. And this enhanced pointer precision right here, you want to make sure that's unchecked. By default, it will be checked. And basically, what that's going to do is based on how fast you move your mouse, your DPI windows will fluctuate your DPI. You don't want that because if you're playing shooters um, like CSGO, you're never going to have a consistent um, reaction. So even though you might be thinking that you're flicking your wrist the same speed, because of this um, feature, it's not going to always be the same. So make sure you turn that off. Then my second bonus tip for you guys is to jump into Steam, go into your Steam settings, and then run down to downloads. If you have a second drive, set it up something like this. Make sure you have your one drop, your one library, and then you can hit add library folder. You can add a library on a different drive. And then you can right click on that drive and you can hit make default folder. This will make sure that when you download games, by default, it'll be installing it on your second drive. Of course, in the, the build that we just put together, you won't have that option, but if you add a drive in the future, or if you have a second drive already in your build, you know, making that the default drive um, for your games will be super beneficial, making sure you don't clog up your SSD. My last bonus tip for you guys is to make sure you jump into your BIOS and for one, turn your XMP profile on for your memory if you haven't already. And for two, modify that fan curve, mess around with it, make it so it's not so freaking noisy. Typically you build a new PC, you have the default BIOS and the fans do run a lot louder than they actually need to be. If you download a software such as HW Monitor, you'll be able to monitor your CPU temperatures and that will help um, aid you in setting your fan curve to what works best for you. And so guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, but let me know why in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more tech content just like this. Um, if you wanna see my latest video, it'll be popping up like right here, whoop. And um, don't forget that I will be coming out with that benchmark video in the near future for you guys. Um, again, sorry for not being able to squeeze it into this video, but you know, time constraints. Um, anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys later.